Hello, everyone. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the um, advanced analytics capabilities, UEBA capabilities, and uh, uh, advanced event correlation capabilities available in Manage Engine's PAM360 solution. As you may already know, Manage Engine PAM360 is our unified PAM suite. So it offers a lot of capabilities with regards to account management, password management, um, uh, A to A password management, and even privilege session management. Um, so under Manage Engine, we have more than 60 plus point products focusing on various IT requirements. Now, when it comes to BI or business intelligence, we have a dedicated product called Analytics Plus. And this Analytics Plus is our core business intelligence solution. And it also comes with a, a deep learning machine learning engine named Zia. So the idea behind uh, advanced analytics in PAM360 is to basically share information pertaining to uh, privileged access. And the information flows from PAM360 to Analytics Plus. So Analytics Plus, in turn, crunches the data and uh, takes various data points um, and runs it through its uh, Zia engine to come up with uh, advanced analytics and also anomaly detection. So to configure it, you can navigate to admin tab and then you can go to integrations, manage engine section, and you will find manage engine analytics plus listed there. So you just need to supply the host name and the port number of the server in which you're running your analytics plus uh, solution. Now, this solution is also available as a free edition. So if you are trying out the feature, you could just download Analytics Plus from Manage Engine website, install it, and then supply the information here and save. Once you've done this, if you navigate to Advanced Analytics tab, um, you will automatically see a lot of dashboards. So these dashboards are um, generated by our Analytics Plus solution. And, um, and the reports and the dashboards are basically generated based on the data crunched by our A plus solution. So just to give you an example, I'm just gonna refresh the data. As you can see, um, under anomaly detection, the solution is able to uh, identify the non-business hour operation. So typically if your enterprise works from nine to five and you have uh, some users accessing the PAM solution on out of business hours or even at, at times it could be middle of the night or over a weekend, uh, that particular operation will have a higher risk score. And uh, this engine will basically uh, keep track of that and send out a real time alert if required based on how risky the, the operations behavior is. And it will also let you know how many times someone try to access. Like if somebody is trying to access the system without a valid credential, but they are trying to repeatedly uh, log in with the wrong credentials. So even those type of uh, uh, malicious behaviors will be detected, identified, and notified to approving authorities. So you will be able to see the anomaly detection dashboard. And um, uh, similar to any BI solution, obviously during the initial stages, once you deploy this and do the configuration, it will probably take uh, some time for it to uh, have more accuracy. So at the initial stages, you could probably set the risk assessment to be a little less, but over time, uh, the tool will learn the, the usage pattern of your users, and based on that, it will be able to provide uh, a more tighter insight to how the PAM solution is being utilized by your users. And uh, uh, besides this, we also have uh, uh, our unified SIM solution called Logs360. Now, similar to Analytics Plus, if you navigate to Admin, Integrations, Manage Engine section, you will have Logs360 integration readily available. So you could supply the host name, port number, and the credentials if required to authenticate into Logs360. Now, the idea behind this integration is to offer advanced event correlation. What that means is, so if somebody logs into PAM, checks out a password or connect to a machine or perform anything, PAM will record that activity, obviously. We have the raw data we will be able to send you an alert or we can even send an alert to your own SIM solution so you will know about the malicious event or, or, or operation. But what if someone were to bypass PAM solution and directly connect to a device and do some operation? Now, when you deploy PAM, this is a situation that you should try your best to avoid. If you have too many domain admins, if you have too many users with local admin rights and all of it, your focus should be to limit it. You should bring down the number of domain admins, local admins, 
just allow them to act as domain admins through PAM. So that way you don't have uh, any potential backdoors. Regardless, let's say that someone was able to bypass PAM and manually connect to a server and do some operation. Now in this situation, our PAM 60 solution visibility is not sufficient. We don't know what operation was performed by the user in that particular endpoint because they, they literally bypassed PAM. Or in some cases, someone logged into PAM checked out a password because they were granted permission to check out the password so they checked it out but then they bypassed PAM and directly connected to the machine using rdp or ssh session perhaps so the idea is our logs t60 solution is our core sim solution and because of it it gathers logs directly from all of those endpoints so even if someone were to bypass PAM or check out the credentials and then bypass them and directly connect to the endpoint or wherever that endpoint is and do some operation, our PAM solution will still be able to give you the raw information of what exactly happened during that particular session. And this happens because our PAM solution basically exchanges the data with our SIM solution. So not only are we pushing our audits to uh, Logs 360, we're also uh, gaining audits from Log360 uh, for all activities happened in a particular session. So, for example, um, you know PAM360 has these recording capabilities where you can play back and find out what happened during a remote session. So, this is an example of a video playback. But in addition to that, you will also have this activity logs where we basically gather all the events that happen in that machine during that session or during any session for that matter. And we will be able to give you the metadata of all events that happened directly in that device, not through PAM. So that's the core objective of integrating um, PAM 360 with Ma Manage Engine's Log 360 solution. So there is another integration called SIM integration. As you can see, we have integration with all leading SIM solution, but that is one way. So if you want PAM to send data to your own SIM solution, then we support any SIM solution in the market, anything that can read syslog messages or SMTP traps. But if you want a two-way integration where you want PAM audits and your SIM audits to be exchanged between each other, then we support that with our Manage Engine's Log 360 solution, which is our own SIM solution. But we do have plan to expand it and uh, 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 enable two-way integration with other SIM solutions as well. So uh, that's a quick overview of our PAM 360's BI capabilities, anomaly detection, and advanced event correlation capabilities. Thank you for your time.